Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. However, what I do know is that this is 4F Beauty. You have got the best seat in the house. And as the thumbnail, the title, and if you've read any of it, the description will have told you this is a collab between myself and my lovely friend Stacy from Stacy's Makeup Corner. And for your delectation, delight, and perusal today, we are doing a look with the Viper Queen palette from Peachy Queen. So, if you want to find out exactly what this looks like in glorious Technicolor, assuming I remember to put it in black and white, if not, hey, welcome to glorious Technicolor. You want to find out exactly what this looks like on the inside and how well, or not, it behaves and performs then my friend, as I have said for eons now, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Because here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro, which I haven't filmed yet. Right, I would have shown you this in the intro this is the viper queen by peachy queen palette now i bought two palettes from them i bought this one and i bought the spirit board palette unfortunately they took so long to get here this one isn't even on their site anymore i assume they'll be restocking at some point it has a nice mirror it also has two not so nice pressed glitters. I wish companies would stop doing this. I have done swatches. I will stick them over that side for a change. And you will not believe how long it took. Bear in mind, two tiny little swatches. You've seen how big the swatches are over there, the green and the red. Took me. 20 minutes to get all that off my arm. <clears throat> so it's safe to be saying I will not be using either a fork tongue or cold blooded in my look today. <laughs> um, you'd know normally I would go for greens, purples, uh, blues, you know, I'd probably do something with these for here. But I feel like doing something a little bit more spring-like today. It's bloody awful weather out there, which is hysterical because if, there, if, if, if we weren't all locked down, this is Saturday that I'm filming this. All week, beautiful sunny weather. Saturday, overcast, windy, dull. However, everyone's on lockdown anyway, so... Um, This is a collab with my lovely friend Stacy from Stacy's Makeup Corner. I discovered her through Anya and Nona, and the three of us actually did a collab together last September. Mm. See if you can see that one. See if you can trawl back and find it. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I think I've done another one with her since then as well. Or did we have to postpone it because one of us wasn't well? I can't remember. If I think on, I'll try and remember to link the film, film or films that I've done with Stacey in the description box. If I forget, give me a nudge and I'll, I'll put them back in then. Um, I'm going to be using my Blush Tribe brushes. Now, I'm absolutely broken hearted that Blush Tribe are closing down permanently. My, I made my last ever order from them. Um, I got the dispatch notification yesterday 
I've ordered myself a backup Hasina 2 even though I've not hit pan on any of them yet because Hasina 2 is me in a palette I cannot imagine not having access to that palette um, and there's another couple of pigments that I like the look of that I've ordered as well at the moment she's got a few sets of these quasar brushes left if you are like me where you struggle with brushes feeling harsh on your skin these are the softest brushes I have ever used it's clean but it, it you know I've wiped it off on a microfiber cloth it's just stained it's waiting for its weekly wash um, the bristles are actually white but the uh, I think I've got one over here that I haven't used yet yeah there we go that's how they look at the slot off looking um, they are by far the softest brushes I've ever used in my entire life at the moment because she's had a sudden influx of orders where she said she's closing and people are like right I want a backup of this one I want to get that one I want to get this one which is great for her um, she's had to put everything on her website as out of stock however you can go on and you can make pre-orders I believe she's got a few sets of these left um, if you're going to buy one thing from her get the brushes if you're not interested in any of her palettes and I can't imagine why not get the brushes you will not regret it they are amazingly soft right um, this is still a teaching channel uh, if I'm going too slow for you there's a speed widget up there feel free to use it uh, I'm going to insert the clip where I discuss the difference between deep set eyes and hooded eyes now I've I've talked about this for a long long time because I was getting very frustrated watching even some of the bigger beauty gurus saying oh I've got hooded eyes and I'm looking at them and I'm thinking no actually you've got deep set eyes there is a difference they have similar issues in terms of how makeup reacts but the workarounds for them are very very different so I'm going to insert the clip just now uh, a bit of a warning it's very up close and personal please don't scream um, but it'll talk you through how to work out which type of eye you have and tell you the workarounds for it so here's the clip now um, my eyes have this primer on it this is the chrome pebble primer in blank page cotton I do have a discount code for this it is not affiliated I don't earn money from it but if you use my code you save I think it's 15% and I earn pebbles that I can offset against future purchases from them. The reason I love the Chrome Pebble Primer is because it's it goes on like a cream but it has a powdery finish so unlike when you use a concealer or like a MAC paint pot for example you have the trade-off between do I set it so I can blend easily or do I leave it tacky so that I get the full impact of colour. You don't have that trade off with this, you can blend on it instantly and you don't lose any of the colour. Now she does six different shades of this at the moment. White is the lightest, the deepest two are a chocolate brown and a black. Then there are three different skin tone shades as well, so you should be able to find one that will work for you. Um, I apply this with a flat brush. Just a very light layer and then I buff it over with a fluffy blending brush to take any excess off and to make sure I've got a nice even layer across the eye. Now I've got deep set eyes so I get the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour onto the upper lid if I'm cutting my crease I have to cut onto the upper lid not just through the socket and if I'm using glitter even with glitter glue I get a bare patch in the middle because people with hooded lids get the same symptoms 
as people with deep set eyes. I see a lot of people with deep set eyes thinking they have hooded lids when they don't. So they follow the guidelines for hooded lids and wonder why their eyes still don't look right. So, I'm going to explain very easily for you how to tell the difference and what the two workarounds are. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if this upper lid comes down and completely covers part or all of the mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demonstrate on this eye deep set eyes because this is the eye that I'm blind in so I'll stay on screen and in focus. If I cover a visible mobile lid and close my eye you can see I've got as much if not more lid that tucks back away out of sight. And if I do the same on the top lid, the static lid, you can see I've got about the same amount of lid again that tucks back away out of sight when the eyes open. And it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me the same issues that hooded lids get. So, what are the workarounds? If you have hooded lids, get a brush something like this or a pencil brush, sketch out on your static lid where you want your new crease to fall. Now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the crease and the brow, so just use smaller blending brushes or if necessary take the colour right up to the brow instead of leaving a gap. If you have deep set eyes like myself, all we need to do when we're putting the colour through the crease, which nine times out of ten will be the deepest colour that we're using, just sit back, relax your brows and make sure you brought it up high enough you can see it when your eyes are open. So, two very different workarounds for two very different types of lids, but that have very similar issues. Hey, I'm back. See, I come in really close for you, so you can actually see what's going on. And yes, this is my Crown Pebble Primer. This is my second pot of it. And hopefully you can see there, I've got a really big dent in that primer. But it's okay because I've got a backup. Of course I've got a backup. Why wouldn't I have a backup? So, um, I'm going to start off with, I don't think these Blush Tribe brushes are numbered or anything. No, they're not. They've got Blush Tribe engraved on the ferrule as you can see there but there's there's nothing actually telling you a number or anything but there we go this is a blown out blending brush and I'm going to start off with in the gross which is a nice it's a lime green but it's not too bright. I say that and then it looks ridiculously bright on camera. Um, it's not as bright as Dangerous. This is one I'm using. This is one that I would consider bright. This has got more yellow to it. This has got more blue to it. Um, reasonable amount of kick up in pan, but that's okay because it means you can pick it up on the brush. Right, as always, I hold the brush right at the very end. And I will start with my usual little circular movements. About here, I'm going to start with little, little tiny circular movements, just this direction towards the nose. And then when we come back, I'll reverse the direction. But I'd much rather put too little. Um, pigment on the brush and then have to go back in and pick up some more and suddenly have a warmth of pigment that needs blending out or a crap ton of fallout and yes crap ton is an official term so as a rule however wide the head of your brush is that's how far it's going to blend your pigment out 
So if you have got less real estate between here and here, um, just use one that's got a slightly more tapered uh, head to it so it doesn't flare out quite as much. You can do windscreen wiper through the crease if you want, but always follow that up with the circular movements. The reason for this is I'm 45, I'll be 46 in May. I've lost 14 stone, which is 200 odd pounds. So the skin on my eyes moves. But I know teenagers who've always been thin or slim um, that have looser eyelids. And by doing it like this, you're very gently moving the skin around so that you don't get the barcoding effect. Now with this eye, this is the one that I'm blind in. I was pulled around an awful lot when I was five years old. You can see the depth of the creasing just there. So I do have to treat that eye a little bit differently when I get down to putting shimmers or whatever colour I'm going to do on the lid. I'm really liking this colour so far. So, Stacey. Um, she and I have chatted, particularly more recently, pretty much every day. Um, I discovered her through a collab that either Anya or Nona, I think it was Anya, that had done a collab with her first that I saw. And I thought then that I really, there was just something about her personality that I really liked. And I thought, do you know what, that's the sort of person I could imagine sitting down with a coffee, having a good old chat, putting the world to rights, you know. And she chats and she tells me about her daughter and how things are going where she is. And you know, she had some pretty rough snow earlier this year that you know, her daughter loved snow days. But, you know, thank goodness it's not snowing now because trying to keep kids indoors when it's got snow outside they could play with, that's more difficult than keeping them indoors when it's a nice sunny day. But, uh, I know very few kids that can resist the lure of snow. Um, yeah, I was chatting with Stacey and I said that I'd ordered these two palettes. Um, and I was bemoaning about how long it was taking for them to arrive. And she'd, um, she'd done an order as well. And she said, well, I'll tell you what, how about I hang on. She hadn't got the... Um, spirit board palette that I bought that's that's much darker colors and I don't think she's quite into the sort of uh, deep and dark so she prefers brighter and more neutrals um, but she said she's got the same palette and she's like well, how about when yours eventually arrives we do a collab together with it and I just thought that was such a great idea and then mine took forever to arrive and then I wasn't well and she wasn't well and then I have my new series that started last week well I say new series four new series that started last week my of the zodiac series there is a fifth of the zodiac series to come but the first episode of which is actually going to be a collab with the bitches of Eastwick we need to sort out a date for that when Anya is feeling a little bit better she's a bit under the weather at the moment Got a bad ear infection, so get better soon, wifey. And you and Nanya, my YouTube wifeys, absolutely adore them. We get on so well together. But then I get on extremely well with Stacey as well. You know, I, there's there's quite a few people that I chat to on a daily basis through Insta or whatever. Um, and Stacey is absolutely one of them. Um, you know, we, we, we're very similar in terms of personality-wise, so I think we we kind of gel together quite well, you know? Right, I'm going to go into Venom, which is the, the yellow matte. And I'm going to use this, sort of starting off kind of half and half, half on the skin that hasn't got any colour and half on the green, just to blend out... the green because I wanted this mainly green but I wanted to f kind of 
fade it out a little bit. Obviously I wanted to use more than just the one colour today. But I just... I felt like doing something bright and summery and... I don't know, something with a little bit of hope in it that you could wear to a barbecue once the lockdowns are done and dusted. But yeah, I mean, if you've if you've not watched Stacey's channel, you really should. Um, she's got an awful lot of, of different type of films. She doesn't just do makeup. Um, so yeah, pop over and check her channel out. She's going to be linked in my description box, both her channel and her film. So you will be able to pop over and check out some of her films but uh, bless her she was I've been struggling with cellulitis on my leg for some months now uh, it starts to clear up and then it will flare back up again and it's very frustrating and bless her, she was so concerned when it when I had the recent flare up. She she messaged me on a day when I was feeling particularly sorry for myself. Um, and she's like, "How are you?" And I'm like, "I'm bloody awful. I can't bear this. I've just about had enough. I can't take much more of this." Rah, rah, rah. Feeling sorry for myself, you know. And bless her, she was so supportive, and she made a point of messaging me quite a bit again the next day, just checking in on me, making sure I was okay. You know, that's that's something that this YouTube channel has given me. It's given me a very, very good support network. Um, not just the people that I collab with, but the people who watch as well. Um, you know, there was, there was Shari who sent me the... Um, Dominic Cosmetics palette that she got in her boxy charm, but I didn't. I wasn't drawn by the full size Celestial Thunder, but the little middle mini one from the boxy charm, I love the look of. So I said, if anybody doesn't want theirs, let me know. I was quite prepared to pay them for it. Bless her heart, she wouldn't take a penny for it. You know. And then there was um, my lovely friend Duncan from New Orleans. Um, who sang my intro for me, bless him. Um, he's appeared in a couple of my films, I've chucked him on as the intro. And it's just, it's, it's really lovely when you see the same sort of names popping up again with the comments, you just think, yeah, these, these people are actually enjoying what I'm doing, you know, they're enjoying what I'm putting out. It's not just they happened to see a film subscribed and that was it kind of thing they're genuinely watching they're really enjoying what I'm doing which for me means an awful lot the fact that you know I'm sitting here chatting away to my camera in my kitchen all by myself but that there's people who reply to me when I ask you a question um, I love that. I absolutely love it. I really do. Right, you can see that yellow has really blended in well with that green. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the in the grass again, and I mean a little bit, just to reinforce that it's actually green at the bottom, not yellow. Just to strengthen that again, because you can do that if you find when you've blended a colour out, your first colour's looking a little bit, ooh, that blended away a little bit too much, just pop it back on again, it's really not an issue. You know, the whole point of makeup is that if you don't like what you do, you can change it, or you can wash it off, or you can add some more, you know? There we go. This is very kind of... I feel like I should be drinking a gin with lemon and lime. With enough gin I could rule the world. <coughs> right, now. I do want to get a darker colour on the outer corner. 
But in terms of mats, there's a raspberry, a black currant, and a blueberry. I'm not really sure how well any of those are going to actually. I wish there was a darker green that I could use. Uh, I think I might try the blue because then hopefully that will blend with the green and give me a tealy colour. Fingers crossed. Right, so I'm going in with another one of my Blush Tribe ones. This is a much more tightly packed blending brush as you can see. This is the one I was using. This is the one I'm going to now. And I'm going to dip into Hiss. I think it's quite amusing this is called the Viper Queen palette because the only poisonous snake we have in the UK is the adder which is also known as the viper. But that picks up a lot. Let's just tap some of that off. That's probably too much. Pick up a little bit back again. There we go. Right, and what I'm going to do with this, again I'm holding it right at the end. I'm just going to do tiny little circles just right in that crease there. Obviously if you've moved your crease up you do this to wherever you've moved your crease to. Yeah, that's blending nicely and giving me a really nice teal. Yay! Colour theory for the win! So I'm just really concentrating it just on this outer corner about sort of half to two thirds of the way along my eye again just sort of flicking the edge up here because I've always had very very sensitive eyes um, they don't like anything being in the waterline at all they never have done plus a hay fever season apparently has started already for me and fibro also gives you watery eyes so yay um, and if you are having a day where you can't use a liner, just flicking your shadow up like this at the edge and kind of scooping it here can give you the same impression. Can you see the difference about how it, this eye looks more lifted at the edge than this one does? Does that show? I hope it does. And I'm just going to really buff this in that's nice and then just bring a little bit of it down onto the outer third of my mobile lid like so I like that. Yeah, I'd never tried um, Peachy Queen stuff before, but um, I'd seen quite a few of their palettes being used by people that I follow and people that are my friends and stuff. And, uh, I got some really nice ones and it was like I was kind of oh, you know, customs etc etc because though we don't pay customs fees until it gets over a hundred quid on items you've purchased and I think 120 on gifts what we do have to pay is VAT anything we purchase over 15 quid which is about 18 19 bucks depending on the exchange rate we pay, you ready for this? 20% tax. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So instead of something costing 10 quid, it costs just 12. And they never used to include the cost of shipping in that. It was just the item that you purchased. Last couple of things I've ordered, they've included the shipping as well. 
And when shipping from the US usually starts, the cheapest I've found is um, $9.99, that's Colourpop. Most US companies, for something small, like a single palette, you're looking at 15 bucks shipping instantly. A lot of them, you're looking at 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. In some cases, you pay more on shipping than you do for the actual palette that you want. So then when it arrives, if they, if they don't have the um, option, I mean Colourpop now and Beautylish, uh, and Tarte, and I think Too Faced do it now as well. And then Too Faced are on my shit list at the moment, so. They actually add VAT before. Uh, they add the 20% on at their end, and you pay them, and then they pay um, the UK government. Which is great, because then when it arrives, there's no delay or anything at the border. It just comes straight in. If you don't have that option, UK Customs holds it. In some cases, they will hold it for up to a month before they even tell you they've got it. Oh yeah. Right, I'm going to use this. Uh, this is the lip brush from Geoffrey Morphy. It's a JS24. But I love the fact it comes down to a point like this. Because it's great for getting into the inner corner there. And I'm going to start off with Poisonous. And once I've got the pigment onto the brush, I'll be wetting the pigment. Because you never put a wet brush into a packed pigment. Or a pressed pigment. Not unless you want to kill the pigment. I've got the dearest little bit of my Jasmine Slay all day left. I'm just going to dry this ferrule off. Easiest way to do that, tuck it in your knuckles and spin it. Because you do not want moisture getting down here and loosening your bristles, otherwise you won't have a brush anymore. Right, so I'm going to pop this into the inner corner. I'll come about a third of the way across roughly. Or half of the lid that hasn't got any colour on it basically. That's really nice. Right, you'll see what I mean about the fact that I have to treat the other eye differently in a minute. But yeah, so they hold it for about a month sometimes before they tell you they've got it. Then they charge you 20%. Then, on top of that 20%, they charge you a fee. This fee starts... And about, I think it's 8 quid is the cheapest one I've had. It can go up to 25 quid, depending on the service that's been ordered. So you can end up paying over 100 bucks equivalent for 30 bucks worth of stuff. And you moan about a 10 buck delivery charge to the US? Right, with this one, because of this deep creasing, what I have to do is just stretch the lid out just far enough that those creases are pulled out. Because otherwise, if I don't actually blend the pigment onto the skin like this, it'll build up in those creases. And then as it dries through the day, it'll start cascading down. It gets in my eyes, it gets in my face. And it's not good but you can see I only pulled the lid out as far as I had to and as soon as I'd covered the area concerned I let go do not pull your eye around like that unless you have to right I'm now going to go into Cobra which is a gorgeous apricot -y 
Hannah, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Um, I normally use a cheaper spray to wet my pigments. But for some reason, the Jasmine Slay All Day, and it's the only one that does it, dries my jawline out. No worry else on my face. Just my jawline. So I tend to reserve it just for wetting pigments now. Um, none of the other scents that I've used have done it. I've been fine with uh, the cucumber, the coconut, the peach. Uh, I've got the rose one at the moment. None of those do it. So at the moment it's only been the jasmine one. Um, I haven't tried the lemon um, the lemongrass one yet. Right, now I'm just going to drag some of the lighter shimmer across onto that just to blend the two together and then use the very tips of the brush just to blend it in with the matte shade on the outside there. Dry my brush off, go back into Cobra and repeat for the other eye. Don't know if you can, I'm hopefully going to be able to block out next door's little and being upset like that. She does that usually this time of day because this is normally the time of day that she's allowed to go out on her bike, which obviously she can't do at the moment. So, well, she came down the garden, but we've got a park just along the road from us, and we've got an um, apple and pear farm just along the road from us that I know she likes cycling in and obviously she can't go through there at the moment because mum and dad are being sensible keeping the kids close to home as possible we've got really big back gardens I mean they're 200 foot long so you know the kids can get exercise down there and just Blur those two together there, and buff the edges. Plus, I think Saturday is usually the day that their grandparents pop round, which obviously can't happen at the moment. There. That looks super pretty and super spring-like. We were going to do a, um, a palette bingo, but then both of us said, oh, actually, we just want to play with the palette. So, that's what we've done. I wonder what colours she's chosen, whether we've chosen similar ones. Right, I'm going to pause you just briefly. Um, I'm going to pop some foundation and other base products on, and I will be back to continue this eye look with you so i'm gonna to have to wait until the next time i press record to talk to you you however you'll see me instantly here comes hello i am back as you can see decided to go for colored brows again i used one of the um the green shimmers i fluffed my brows with um, the Revolution Soap Brow Kit thing. Um, it's okay, but you can achieve exactly the same with a bar of soap and a clean spoonie. So you don't need to put spend out on that unless you want to. That's just convenient. Um, I used Snake Pit then on that brush to do my brows. Right, I'm going to grab this. This is the brush from the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette. Long term viewers know I love this because it's great for fluffing out under here. It's flat topped but it's chunky so it's perfect for lower lash line. And I'm going to dip into Dangerous which is the more bluey of the brighter greens. And I'm just going to use this 
to buff along the lower lash line. Now normally I would use a darker colour to line it and then buff it out with a lighter colour but I would have to go in with that blue and buff it out with the green and it's just because it's a different green it will come up a different colour to this teal so I just decided to just go for the green on the lower lash line just for a change. Um, if you can't put anything in your waterline like I can't, this is a great way just to finish your look off. Just concentrate on really blowing out that lower lash line and you still get that finished look without the need for something in your waterline that will then irritate your eyes. Okay. Now, I think... I think I might try my Cruella highlight today. This is the from the Colourpop Disney villains. You idiots, you fools, you imbeciles. Uh, this is just an old lip brush that I bought from eBay probably a decade or more ago. I'm oh, just going to pop a little bit of that under the tail of the brush. Doing this sort of lifts the brow slightly because apparently, like our boobs and our bums, ladies, everything goes south, including our brows. And then the same thing on the inner corner. And regular viewers will know I like to bring mine down just underneath the tear duct and blend it in with whatever colour I've run underneath my eye. I just think for my eye shape that finishes the look off nicely. You don't have to, you can just do the inner corner like that, but I just like to run mine along just that little bit further. Brightening up the inner corner here is actually quite important. You don't have to use a highlighter, you can use just a plain white matte or something um, but just here everybody has little dimples either side of their nose just there and they can automatically make you look tired because they they have a shadow that sits in them all the time no matter how much sleep you get because it's part of your nasal passages so by popping just that little bit of brightness on the inner corner there makes all the difference to how bright and awake you look. Okay, I am going to pause you for one last time. Uh, I will put some mascara on, chuck some more of that highlight all over my face, choose a lipstick, do something with the hair, and I'll be back with the finished look. Again, darlings, for you. Instant. I am back. Okay, so obviously I used my Cruella highlight. I used my Rose Slay All Day from Gerard. All of my discount codes are listed below. I used my little Bite Mini Honeycomb lipstick. Love the shape of these. Look. Yeah. How cute is that? Um, and my mini Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes that my friend Hedda sent me. So, this is my finished look with the Viper Queen palette. What do you think? Do you like? Would you have done this? Given the colours of the palette, what options would you have gone for? Mm. which colours called to you most from this and are there any colour combinations you want me to do with this palette let me know in the comments box below and I will do my absolute best to uh, do those for you now if you're one of my 4th babies 
please double check you are still subscribed because YouTube is like Game of Thrones. You turn your head, White Walkers have taken another one. It's like season eight out there, love. It's just. Ugh. Once you double checked that, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button for me. It really does help with the algorithm. And leave me a comment down below in the comments box. And once you have done all of those good YouTubery things, I'm going to need you to go across to the lovely Stacey and I'm going to need you to check out her film and see exactly what colours called to her. Will we have chosen the same colours? Will we have chosen similar colours? Will our looks resemble one another's at all? My friends, there is but one way to find out. That's to go to her channel and watch her film next. But if you are here from her channel, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed it here. Uh, if you've made it this far through the film, I'm guessing there was something you liked about this mad half Welsh, half Yorkshire bird who blethers away in her kitchen whilst applying colourful pigments to various parts of my face. If you too would like to join the 4F family, which is by far the nicest family on YouTube, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to grey, ring my bell and then jump through as many hoops as YouTube asks you to. Confirming that yes, you definitely want notifications, thank you. And then hopefully you'll get one in four notifications of my films. Speaking of which, there are an awful lot of other films of mine that you can go and watch. And, as I have said for some time now, and has oft been echoed by other channels, grab a drink, grab a snack, Put your feet up and indulge. Make a playlist and you're set for the afternoon. Right, my darlings, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.